All right, welcome back for the last chunk. Uh, this time we're going to talk about uh, servo motors, uh, what they are and kind of how they work. Uh, so first off, I'll say that a servo motor actually is a gearhead DC motor. Um, it just has a little bit more circuitry with it, um, and they're very popular. So it's kind of easier to talk about them separate, but it really is um, a gearhead rushed DC motor. Comically, a stepper is actually a DC motor as well, but nobody would ever call it that. They would call it a stepper. Uh, the idea of a servo is that it's a very different type of motor. Uh, typically, um, <clears throat> servos can only go like 180 degrees total. That's the way a servo motor is supposed to work. There are, there are modifications called continuous servos. Don't want to mention it. Um, they go from zero um, to 90 to 180. Um, they have a feedback system inside of them. And so they also have transistors built in. So they're really easy. Like that's what you love about them. They're just so easy. There's one wire that goes to your, straight to your microcontroller, no transistors. Um, they have this absolute position. So if you want to go to like 30 degrees, it can just do it, right? So they're really nice in that way. Um, downside is um, not so good for wheels, right? Because they only go 180 degrees. If you wanted to tear one apart and just kind of take a look at it, uh, the way it would look is you would have your brush DC motor, uh, you would have your gear head, um, and then you would have a potentiometer. Uh, that potentiometer is going to go to some breadboard control circuitry. Um, so you send it a signal um, of a very specific type, and it'll make the motor go to that spot, uh, which is really nice. Uh, they typically have three wires, uh, power, ground, and then your signal line. Uh, the signal line is a square wave, uh, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. Um, the signal line <coughs> is uh, very specific. It has a pulse width modulation, uh, but kind of in a different way. Um, they're different in that no matter where you want it to go, there will always be a rising edge every 20 milliseconds. So there will always be a rising edge every 20 milliseconds. And then depending on how long it's high for will determine the position. If it's high for one millisecond, it'll be at zero degrees. If it's high for 1.5 milliseconds, um, it will be at 90 degrees. And if it's high for a full 2 milliseconds, um, then it will be at 180. Um, so it's a very, very specific uh, PWM. It's different than what DC motors did, right? Because this is actually a signal line uh, that's going to their controller, and then it's figuring out where to go. Um, so they're really, really neat uh, devices. Um, so, if you need position control, they're probably your best choice, right? If you need absolute position control, uh, they are awesome. Um, as far as pros and cons, sometimes their torque is a little lower, so they don't have the torque that like a gearhead DC motor. Uh, they are easier to break, so if you need one, I would buy two, um, so that's kind of a problem. And then of course, the, they don't go all the way around. There are also things with weird frequencies, um, and even though, you know, like 0.5 is supposed to be here, 1.5 is supposed to be there, you do need to experiment with it to actually, like, get right at 45 degrees. So just kind of know those are some of the disadvantages. Uh, where you buy them, uh, the usual suspects, uh, you know, Robot Shop has a bunch of servos. Um, Hobby Parts, this is one I didn't list on some other things, uh, they have all kinds of servos. Hobby Parts is great for like RC cars, RC planes, so if you need like servos um, or batteries, uh, Hobby Parts is a great option. Um, all electronics, you know, same, same idea, um, you know, you could go, go to the motors area. Actually, they may have servos broken off separate. Yeah, servos they have broken off separate. Um, so there's all kinds of places you can buy them. Um, if you see this word continuous rotation, that means it will go around and around like a regular DC motor. Typically, you don't want those. Um, and then that signal, all it does is it controls the speed. Um, I find very little value in a continuous servo, so I, I avoid them. So just to kind of mention that little, little warning. Um, so they're the easiest to use, which is nice. Um, they have their pros and cons. Uh, but hopefully, if they meet your need, uh, that's something you'd feel comfortable using. All right, that was a short one. Um, see you next time, uh, tomorrow night, for some more video lecture fun. That's it.